Hi, I'm Georgina from Twinkle and today we're going to be looking at this fabulous year one maths activity pack resource that you can find on our website. This resource is full to the brim of maths questions based on topics that are covered in year one. So let's go and take a closer look at the resource and how you might want to use it in the classroom or at home. When you click the download now button on the website, the resource will download as a large file, which may take a minute or so to fully download. When you open the file, you'll see that it's split up into half terms. For example, there are two files for the spring term, two files for summer and so on. In each file, you will find six different mats. You might want to use one mat per day or one mat per week and this will be sure to keep your children busy. One of the great things about our activity mat is that they're differentiated using our Twinkle three star system, with one star being the easiest and three stars being the most challenging. So you can find the one that suits your children best, or you might want to get your children to work through every starred mat. In the download, you'll also find the answer sheets, which is great for self-marking, peer marking, or just to make your life a little bit easier when you're marking the work yourself. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the mats cover a range of different topics. For example, ordering numbers, money questions, measuring questions, addition questions, and many, many more. Begin by getting your children to fill out the mat that you've chosen for them based on the star system. And once they've finished filling in the mat, you could even get them to create their own questions based on the question types they filled in. For example, can they create their own subtraction and addition questions? Carefully using scissors, you could also get your children to cut out all of the question boxes and they could make their very own little booklet of all their answers, which could be hung around the classroom or at home. All you need to do is punch a hole in the corner of the questions and thread a piece of pipe cleaner or string through to connect them all together. You could even create a treasure hunt. Cut out all of the questions and children have to begin at question one and once they've answered the first question, they can then go on a hunt to find the second and so on. We've got lots of other amazing maths resources on our website, as well as a range of maths lesson videos. So why not go and take a look? See you next time.